Late last month, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with the Lao People's Democratic Republic on an agreement that would send certain Hmong and Lao people in the U.S. back to the country of their birth. For now, the La Crosse Hmong Cultural and Community Agency Board of Directors says they don't want to cause panic or worry, but they're not sure what this policy really means. And they understand that the people who've committed a felony, uh, some sort of crime, uh, could get deported, but they say there aren't any stipulations that prevent someone who's already served their time from getting deported, even if that individual has made amends, contributed to society, and has a family. And what happened to a family and what happened to the children? I think this is very bad for society. If we, 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 we don't look at it very carefully, we might think that's good for society, but could have other, other impact on it the family and the future generation too. So I, I just don't want them, you know, their family to have to face this. So that's my concern. Wisconsin Representative Ron Kind and Governor Tony Evers have both, set, both, that is, sent letters to Secretary of State Pompeo asking that the Trump administration clarify what these policies mean. Both elected officials expressed their concern that sending Hmong and Lao people back could be a risk to their human rights as many came to the U.S. as refugees fleeing abuse from their government. 